So we looked around the web this morning. We found a few reasons to make a long story short. Newser.com says a Virginia high school teacher has been arrested for an unusual bit of discipline, you could say. Manuel Dillo was trying to get his class to pay attention. So what does he do? He lines his students up against a garage door, fired a handgun loaded with blanks. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, is mm -mm. right. Dillo has been suspended, <laughs> but he has not been fired. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. No. The New York Post says a Texas mom really wanted her daughter to be prom queen, so she rented a campaign billboard outside her daughter's high school in Colleen, Texas. Poor Brandy Day, though, was teased about it at school and didn't win. Ouch. Apparently, the color red means anything but stop to men. The New York Daily News reports on a French study. It found that men believe women in red outfits are signaling they'll have sex on the first date. Nope. The study also found men think women in red are more attractive than women in white and blue and green. No word, Eric, on what they say about girls who wear gray or, or girls gale. who wear purple. I don't know. Hmm. They and say they're nice and smart. That's I what I'm thinking. I think that's exactly what they say, I'm thinking that, too. Find conversationalists. <laughs> Britain's Daily Mail reports a Virginia woman won the lottery twice on the same day. I think I want to be her friend. Virginia Fife bought two Powerball tickets earlier this month. Both of them had five winning numbers worth a million dollars. She bought the second Powerball ticket by mistake, but she took it anyway because she thought, hey, if I win, I win twice. What are the odds? Apparently, the odds are in your favor. <laughs> pretty damn, pretty good. And Entertainment Weekly says Think Like a Man has knocked off the Hunger Games after it dominated the box office for four weeks. Think Like a Man, you may recall, is based on Steve Harvey's best-selling book. He was here. The movie took in $33 million this week and much more than expected. And that's long story short. And you know what makes this even sweeter, Erica, is that it was on 1,000 less screens than Hunger Games and the lucky one, which came in second. That's huge. So on when on um, less than 1,000 screens, it came in number one at 33 million. That's huge. Nice work. Congratulations we like hearing to that. Steve Harvey. Yeah. Good stuff.